Hi guys and welcome back to another one of Rexy's reviews. Uh, in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at two more of the new Primal Attack Soundstrike Dinosaurs. We're going to be having a look at the Irritator and the Majungasaurus. So let's take a closer look. So guys, first up we have the Irritator. And just so you're aware, I'm not going to be unboxing any of these items in this video because personally I like to keep my collection boxed. Uh, I really value the packaging. Uh, I think the art, the effort and the, the artwork and design that goes into them is a big part. So that is why I like to keep them boxed. So let's have a look at the Irritator because let's face it, it's easier to pronounce. Um. First and foremost, following with the, the Primal Tack packaging design. So we've got Owen and Blue on the front there. A uh, little image showing the actions. Uh, these ones do have sound as well. Personally, I think it's a very, very good sculpt on this one. There's a lot of detail a uh, lot of texture on the skin. A uh, lot of detail gone into it. Uh, especially around the head. There is articulation with the mouth. It does open. Uh, it is manually opening. It isn't part of one of the, the movement features. So there's no snap and jaw action or anything. So it is just a manual open and close but not a worry uh good detailing with the teeth uh not a pristine paint job there is a little bit of overspray on the front of the snout there but nothing too major uh, nice detailing on the eye as well uh, nice blue color with the lighter blue patches Following down the back and the spine, and then onto the tail, which is of course where all the uh, action and sound is controlled. So the tail actually is a 360 degree pivot rotation, which in turn then moves the head and activates the sound. So let's have a look. Limited with the sideways movements. We are limited with the uh, left and right sideways movements because of the packaging, but we get the idea still. Um, we'll take a quick look at the back. And so we'll have a look at the underside first. We can see under there, so obviously you've got the, the speaker in the middle. Nice beige colour, uh, large battery compartment, you can sort of see between the legs there. Uh, there is rotation and pivoting on the arms, uh, so fairly standard level of articulation across the range on these. And movement on the legs the legs don't move make a sound so that was just me i caught the tail there but similar sort of ratchet system where the legs lock into place for making them stand and balance well and we'll take a look on the back of the box so usual image in the middle showing details of the movement and thrashing action Head strike. And then down in the bottom left hand corner. As you have across the range, the uh, images of the other dinosaurs in the series, or at least some of them. 
got the Primal Attack logo on the, on the edges of the box and the Jurassic World logo on the opposite side. So, uh, basically in my opinion, it's a very, very nice piece. Uh, one that I'm glad to be able to add to the collection, especially so quickly. So, yep, yeah, that's the Irritator. Uh, next we have the Majungasaurus. Apologies for the uh, pronunciation there. And again, same packaging design. Image in the bottom left hand corner to give you an idea of what the motions and movements are. And let's have a look at the details in the sculpt. Uh, we'll start at the head. So just like with the Irritator, again, an opening jaw function, but manually done, not part of the actual dino action. A uh, lot of detail on this one, a lot of skin texture. You can just see in a close-up there. Uh, lovely paintwork. Very nice paint scheme on this one. Nice detailing on the eye. You've got all the uh, crests on the top of the head and the frills under the chin and the lower neck as you're moving down. Deeny tiny arms with same levels of movement on the other ones. And then we've got the green and yellow paintwork continuing down the body. On the back, the bumps, and down onto the tail. With the spines underneath, and let's take a look at the actions and sounds. So again, just like with the Irritator, uh, three hundred and sixty degree rotation on this one, which then counteracts and makes the the head move as well, so let's take a look at the sounds. So, let's see if we've got any more. There we are. So nice sounds as well. Uh, multiple different ones depending on which way you move the tail. And yeah, basically just yet again, uh, Mattel, I think they've knocked it out the park with this one. Uh, the combination of the details of the sculpt and the paintwork, uh, another cracking job in my opinion. So, there we go. Just to be thorough, we'll have a, a quick spy spin round onto the back. And again, big image focusing in the centre to show the movement and actions of the thrashing actions. And again, head strike. And then down in the bottom left, as before, a couple of images showing the other dinosaurs in the range. And there we go. Two lovely pieces. Continue in the Primal Attack Sound Strike range. So don't forget, guys, to uh, click that like button. Uh, I love to read your comments and hear what your thoughts are on these two uh, two models. And, of course, if you don't mind, click that subscribe button and stay up to date when we post new videos. Uh, especially as more and more new lines are coming out. It's a very exciting time. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully catch you next time. And enjoy!